and welcome to another video by The Peppy Tucky. Today we're going to talk about how to basically map a drive to your PC or Mac using a product called Expand Drive. Now, many of you have watched my video on Dropbox and Selective Sync. And the problem with Dropbox, OneDrive, Google Drive, is if you download their software, they initially set it up that all the files that you have on those drives will sync to your computer. Well, that doesn't work for me because I don't want all those files on my computer. I only have a 256 SSD drive and it would fill it up. So what I want to do though is connect to those drives and be able to see them like I would if they were just a folder on my computer, such as my C drive. What you can use without too much trouble, it does cost around $50, expand drive. And I'm just going to show you quickly that on my computer, you can see this is my OneDrive and I can double click on it and this is everything I have in OneDrive. But it's not on my computer as you can see from this small little picture it's on the cloud. So when I click on pictures I can go to PicMonkey and it's loading really quickly. Now I have been in this a few times today but if I wanted to double click on my Sunflower there it is, beautiful, loaded really quickly. This is on the cloud. So I'm going to come here to a folder maybe I haven't been in today. And we'll just look up uh, maybe the Peppy Techie. Now you'll see some of these folders are taking a little longer to load because I haven't, uh, what I would call, cached them today. So here's a Peppy Techie at one time uh, headline that I used. But it loaded very quickly. This is not on my computer. It's on the on the cloud. So let's see what this program looks like. After you download it, you'll get an icon on your desktop and you can add drives. So here's my OneDrive and here's my Dropbox. Uh, I disconnected from it earlier. So if I click on it, I need to connect. It automatically connects. There we go. And it even opens up that drive, which I've signed to the L drive. So. I'm going to come back here, click on it here. I can see all my drives either by just clicking on them here and they'll put a little picture like that or you can click on this folder and it opens it up in your regular drive. So if I wanted to add a new drive, so the first time I got it, I went in and said new drive and let's choose Google Drive. I'll log into my Peppy Techie, um, sorry. and I have to allow Expand Drive to work, and I can nickname it. And what I'm going to do is give it a name called Peppy Techie Google Drive because I have other folders. I don't need a remote path, and because it's Google, I'm going to give it the G, and I'm going to say connect automatically. You could say read only, but I certainly don't want to do that. I want to be able to edit my uh, files. And it automatically is going to come up as soon as it does and connects. It allow you, if you don't want to drive too, that's the other thing, you can delete it. And this is going to connect the drive. If, if it's not connecting immediately, sometimes I click on it. Uh, it's the first time, so there's everything I have in it. And it also opens it up in my PC. So as you can see, I now have OneDrive, Dropbox, and I have Peppy Techie's Google Drive. Now some people wonder why is this helpful, and I'm just going to give you an example of why I use it. I have a lot of documents sitting out on Dropbox. Uh, here's some Karen stuff, so let's go out here and we'll look at um, how about the portfolio samples that I have. So here's some portfolio samples. Let's say I want to move them to my computer, not on the cloud. So of course I can just uh, make a new folder and I move from cloud and I'll open that up and just do this here. So if I wanted all these, I could just highlight them and just copy them over here. 
and they'll just copy right down really quickly. It's great. I mean, it is like having a USB drive, except it's a network drive. It's your Dropbox with a terabyte and your OneDrive with a terabyte, and you've got all your stuff available to you. So that's really the benefit of having this type of map drive. Instead of running around with a USB or opening up OneDrive and dropping it down from the web page, uh, you've got it right here, and it's mapped. It's what we call a network drive, and you'll love it. I hope you'll go out and give it a look. I'll have some links uh, to this page especially and to the store page. I am not paid by this company at all. I just think it's a fantastic product, and I wanted to share it with you. Thanks for watching. And I hope you'll like us. And more importantly, please subscribe because we're trying to get a thousand subscribers to our page. Um, we really, really need that for YouTube to support us. So thank you very much. Subscribe to Peppy Techie. Thank you.